Vishwas Indranil here. I have a very basic question. What clicks? What is the essence of that click? Is it an, the idea itself or is it the uh, camaraderie between these five guys and they said, let's do something, you know? Or are they bored? Enough bored in their whatever workplace or wherever they are so that they want to get together and do something? What is that one thing that makes it really click and which goes on to become a success? See, there are a variety of people who are coming together and doing a variety of things, you know? Uh, they're doing they're doing companies, they're doing theatre, they're doing films, they're doing, you know, uh, uh, you know, sports, they're doing a lot of things. What makes it really click? Okay, uh, I think very, very uh, tough question, Indranil. I think... Uh, I think there's no one answer, I'm pretty sure about it because, you know, a lot of things happen. It's like magic when a few people come together and decide to do something together, right? Uh, a company. And the very odds that are there ahead of you, it's like you're going on a battle which 90% failure rate in the world. And still people want to go ahead and commit their next 5 years, 10 years for a cause. That means that's the innate human need internally to believe in a wonder of something greater than oneself. We're going after something that is beyond normal. I think that sense of adventure that we want to go and pursue that the whole thing. And then when you see that same spark in somebody else's mind, somebody else's eyes, and then you immediately connect and you say that, okay, you know, I think I want to travel that journey with this particular person. So I think that is what makes this thing special. So to give you an example, for some people, it's just instant and they know what they want to do because they're accidentally sitting on a gold mine of opportunity. Just to take example of George Clooney, I was just reading about his, uh, this venture into his tequila company and then you know with a bunch of comp you know people they they were drinking tequila and then they realized that you know this tequila is not up to the mark and they were like man I, we need to really get some good quality tequila and then they were like how do we get a good quality tequila so they re realized this bunch of a couple of three guys then they found somebody uh, in Mexico to do a particular type of tequila just for them and their you know friends for their parties so they started it and then uh, they really loved it they tweaked it uh, the alcohol content and the taste and everything uh, and then you know they perfected it and then they you know people started using it in their parties and everybody and soon it was a big hit in the in their inner circle and they kept drinking that for a few years and they didn't even think about making it a business. And suddenly somebody told, okay, I think this is time now to take it into the market. You know, we need to go and do something about it. And they actually launched that as a brand and uh, it became a major, major success. That tequila, I, I don't remember the name of the tequila company right now. And then they recently sold it for $1 billion. So that is the beauty of this this spark, this magic that the, what, what clicks is something that is just uh, you know it's just around i think people when they come together they have this kind of a thing that's one way of looking at it the other thing is i have a friend of mine uh, in san francisco and um, so he was working with uh, facebook and he came out and uh, when i met him in san francisco he told me that vishwas i want to do something and uh, i don't know what it is and uh, but me and my friend uh, we are we are going to do something and then I said, okay, great. I mean, I would love to know what is that? How are you going to go, go about it? So he told me what we are doing is we are listing out things of everything we like. What is that we like, you know? And they're actually going through sector by sector and they're listing down ideas. They're, like, they're seeing, you know, what works, what doesn't work. They're coming up with a business uh, plan and all that. And um, they started something in the finance sector uh, recently and they also get, got funded. Uh, just just now there is some seed funding so they spent like six months trial and error they were they were basically hacking well, i asked him what are you doing man these days he's saying man i'm hacking 
so basically he's coming with like quick prototypes for like two through two weeks three weeks and then launching it going to investors talking about it getting some quick feedback coming back and then doing it and his co-founder on these guys they like bas- basically bunked up in the same apartment spending like 24 bar 7 on it they are like basically buried in that what is their vision what is their what do they want to do they want to come up with a cool startup and they have no idea what they want to come up with but still they want to do it right so that is what this is this is all there is no one set formula out there either you're an accidental entrepreneur like say for example we have our um, the red bus oh you guys and you know the the more famous guys like you know that guy who made the sulfurization like goodyear for example you know he accidentally dropped sulfur in the tires and then he realized that man this is a great business idea and then he went and showed that you know before that you know in winter the rubber is to become so hard tires is to break in summer rubber is to stick to the road big problem this guy you know accidentally add sulfur into that then it becomes that vulcanization process or whatever and then he sells the rights to another company and then uh, good year company is born and now is it's it's a revolution what i am trying to say is that at every bend in the on the road every curve you have opportunity it's just that you need to have perception to first of all bring good people around you surround yourself with good people who are who have wonders in their eyes people the thing is people lose wonder you know they they start looking at things in a very mundane way but we want peop- we we have to forget it other day i was going through this you know uh, play i even wrote a post about it on linkedin they said imagination is the most powerful weapon against reality right so that is the thing so imagination is missing so we need to have that thing you know you need to run yourself wild and then uh, you know i i think um, things are going to happen have good people around you so that's what it it, it takes and have that kind of open mind so i hope i have answered your question with the best of my ability